DPS middle and high school students have one more day, one more day to decide if they'll return to in person learning late October. The decision would stick through the end of December, but as the deadline approaches, families still have questions. Superintendent Susanna Cordova says answers vary. And so our guidance to our secondary schools for our hybrid instruction will look different depending on the school um, that your children attend. Her best advice is to ask the school directly. One thing is certain, every in-person DPS student will get a minimum 10 hours of face-to-face -face interaction each week. Plus the additional virtual time that students would be engaging in their coursework when they're not physically in person. The big question still looms, is it safe? Right now, two of the district's COVID-19 readiness indicators are in the red, number of cases and trends in case numbers. Anytime an indicator goes red, we immediately convene a meeting with Denver Health uh, to make sure we understand what's the source of that and whether or not we need to make any changes. According to Cordova, local health experts attribute the rise in cases to college students in the county. Meanwhile, she says fewer school-age kids are getting sick. At this time, they're not concerned um, that this increase is an indication of widespread community spread. Allie Levine, 9 News.